What's the difference between marketers drowning in chat GPT threads versus those who are building polished content in minutes? One hidden feature that 90% of users don't even know exists, and it doesn't even have to do with better prompts. You know that sinking feeling when you realize that you've lost that perfect piece of content that ChatGPT just created for you. You're frantically scrolling through ChatGPT trying to find that lost subject line. Your screen looks like a digital tornado with random docs and ChatGPT responses pasted everywhere. There's got to be a better way, right? Absolutely, it's called ChatGPT Canvas, and it is a digital workspace that organizes all your creative outputs with ChatGPT. Think of it like having a digital whiteboard, where you and ChatGPT can build, edit, and refine all your great marketing content in real time. In the next few minutes, we're gonna talk about what Canvas is, when to use it, a real workflow, and an organization system to keep track of all your work. Canvas lives right in your ChatGPT interface, yet most people walk right past it. If you click the plus button in the chat bar and scroll down to more, you can find the tool called Canvas. It moves around a lot, so you might wanna look within the menu system of this tool interface, but there's an even faster way in order to access Canvas. You can actually just ask AI to access it for you. All you have to do is say, write it in Canvas, and ChatGPT will make sure to activate Canvas as a feature. Let me go ahead and click Start. You know it's a Canvas because it opens up this large document that fills the whole right side of your browser, and then your chat remains on the left side. You can exit out of it by clicking the X here, and then you can see you have a document now in chat. You'll wanna use Canvas for things that are more interactive, like the blog post we just did. You can have it load a blog post into a Canvas where you can go line by line with ChatGPT rather than flooding your whole thread with multiple iterations of the same blog post. You might consider writing your strategic docs in Canvas because you might need to rearrange things as you write them with ChatGPT. You might even consider using Canvas when you want multiple documents in one thread itself so that you can reference back to different documents. Here's the thing. Canvas isn't just a fancy notepad. It's designed for the messy, iterative work that marketing requires. Now that we know when to use Canvas, let me show you a practical workflow so that you can picture where Canvas can fit into your process. When asking ChatGPT to build something like a marketing plan, some people will just jump in by asking something as simple as, write a marketing plan for a social media examiner and click go and watch ChatGPT move along in creating said marketing plan. But here's a pro tip. Instead of just asking it to making a marketing plan, Ask ChatGPT to ask you questions to better understand the context it needs to write it. So instead of jumping into a complex topic without knowing anything, it can actually ask you a series of questions before jumping into that marketing plan. Now I've given it all the context and added that magic sentence to the end of everything. Write the marketing plan in a canvas and it created a full canvas here. You can actually talk to ChatGPT about editing things here or adding things. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this positioning doc and highlight the whole thing and ask ChatGPT just to change this one section. ChatGPT, give me some options for different positioning statements we can have for the Social Media Marketing World Conference. And you can see that it gets busy working on the canvas in just that one section. There's also a tool over in the canvas for you to adjust the length, change the reading level, add final polish, or even add more emojis. I'm gonna go ahead and select add more emojis and you could see it loaded up this section with a ton of emojis. Some people would say you can never have enough emojis, but clearly this is too many. The cool thing about Canvas is it keeps iterations of this document. Every time you make an edit, you can undo what you just did or even see all the different versions you've had in Canvas. The best part is when you're done and ready to move on to a different topic, your Canvas stays with the thread itself and can be accessed in the upper right-hand corner of the thread. Speaking of comprehensive marketing strategies, we see people inside the AI Business Society struggle with things like this all the time. But because they're in the AI Business Society, they can get help from experts, help from each other, and actually collaborate on the things that marketers need to know about AI right now. I highly recommend checking it out. It is a fantastic resource for anybody who wants to accelerate their career, master AI, and get more out of the tools they're currently paying for. Check out the link in the description. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee if it's not a good fit for you. And let's get back to a three-part workflow you can use with Canvas to level up your content.
So we've already covered one workflow, but in this workflow, I wanna show you how to take a long form piece of content and break it up into multiple canvases for you to use. So let me show you exactly what I would prompt it like in order to get that done. I'm gonna go back, click plus, go under the more section and activate canvas. I'm gonna copy and paste my prompt in here that says to take the blog post found here and I have a URL to Social Media Examiner's blog post with some instructions to turn it into some LinkedIn posts with some formatting. I'm gonna go ahead and click submit and you can see it's gotten a canvas started with three different LinkedIn posts that I can copy and paste straight into LinkedIn or modify and work with ChatGPT to refine them. Now, I don't wanna just stop here. We can actually go farther by having to create more pieces of content. We could say, turn this blog post now into a thread on X. And because I have the canvas activated, it's going to create a new canvas. And you can see building it there now. But now we have two canvases in one thread and we can actually access them in the upper right hand corner by clicking open canvas and you can see we have multiple canvases available, each one playing off the other. And you don't have to stop there. You can actually keep going. I'm gonna say create a podcast episode outline based on this blog post and you can create multiple pieces of content within one thread. This is important because you can actually reference different canvases within the thread now, and it organizes more and more of your content in one thread rather than having multiple threads for different pieces of content. Now, before I share the organization that will keep you sane, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more AI videos like this one. If I were to make a mistake and not activate the canvas feature by spelling it out or activating it by pushing the plus button and selecting canvas, and hit return and it starts writing the, the content that I want in a normal thread, don't fear. Even though it's writing the whole thing that we need here, we can actually go to the bottom of any response ChatGPT gives us and find that little icon right there and say editing canvas and it will quickly turn the last response it gave to you in the thread into a canvas. Now I wanna share with you that organizational system to keep you sane. We all know that ChatGPT is helpful for so many different things in life, for work, for family life, for home life, and we have threads upon threads in ChatGPT. Let me show you a two-step organizational system. The first part of it is just organizing things in different canvases within one thread. Like we were just doing, we were turning one blog post into LinkedIn posts and then next thread and then Facebook posts and then so many different pieces of content. We essentially have a whole lineup organized in one thread, organized within multiple canvases. That's great, but what happens with that thread? Let me show you real quick. If you're a Plus user, you have access to this extra feature called projects. And that's what we're going to use in order to capture all of our information or all the threads we have for a specific project, an area of our life, maybe a department at work or a client that we're serving organized. In ChatGPT, again, you have to be a Plus member. You can see these little folders on the left-hand side. If you don't have any, you will at least see this new little Plus folder called New Project. Go ahead and click it, give it a name, maybe call it Social Media Content, and you can see it creates a whole area where you can actually now contain all your threads related to this one topic of social media content. I've already created one below for this very channel called AI Explored where I've been demonstrating a lot of this content. And you can see there's the past thread we were just working on in order to talk about how you can chain multiple canvases together in a single thread. You keep multiple canvases within a thread related to one small project. You keep multiple threads in one project in order to contain them all into one place. It makes it so much easier to find things because while the search feature on ChatGPT is pretty good, sometimes it's nice to have things in folders and canvases within the threads within those folders in order to kind of go back and find what you're actually looking for. I've been creating content for years, and this is the closest thing I've ever had to having a creative partner work with me 24-7, 365 on all the different content ideas I've ever had. The Canvas feature transforms ChatGPT from a smart answering service into a collaborative engine. In the next video, I wanna show you 10 different ways you can use ChatGPT's image maker so that you can create professional looking visual assets for your marketing team without the help of a graphic designer. Click or tap the screen now and I'll show you exactly how to make that happen.